Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to be faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we're working on my little ship down here again. Or my little boat, I should say. Uh, we do have a few buoyancy issues, I would say, and uh, that's because, I don't know, the whole back end is going underwater over and over and over and over again. Uh, that is not the only issue we've got. The other issue is that this thing, um, these aren't powerful enough, even with a medium motor in there. And also, if we go to the front, this thing doesn't work. I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't work, but it doesn't. So we're going to try and solve at least one of these things today. I'm going to try and solve the buoyancy issue first, and then we'll move on to other things after that. Uh, if we can fix it, that's great. If we can't fix it, then uh, ripperoni and pepperoni, I guess. Okay, so I guess the first thing that we can look at is going inside here and attaching these pieces, basically taking out a whole bunch of this. There we go, we can take this out all the way along, pretty much, until this point right here. So we'll delete this all the way to the back, and that creates a lot more space. We can then delete this piece, and we can put in some new pieces, which are going to be red. And, um, yeah, you get a little bit more buoyancy if you use these. So, yeah, there you, get, there you go. All right, cool, we'll do that all the way around the outside. The other thing that I was thinking of doing was getting some wing pieces, because they weigh less. And we'll go ahead and grab these front sections, and we can put a bunch of them on here. And it'll work out really well for us, hopefully. Presumably, I'm not so sure. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this all the way to the sides. There we go. And we're going to have to fill it in. So let's go ahead and make it white uh, for right now. And we'll put them all in. There's one, two, three. There we go. It's the front piece. There we go. Look at this. This is going to be really good. Uh, because it's going to weigh less. Uh, and weighing less allows us to be a little bit more buoyant. Which allows the back end to come up a bit. Which is exactly what we want. Uh, so there we go. We've done it all the way down oh, one side. Are you serious? Oh, the overlap in the middle. Oh, that's not the best. That is not the best. Uh, kind of want it to be the same on both sides. All right, give me a second. We need to go ahead and take out all of these pieces and uh, replace them so that we can fit them all in, basically. That's what I want to do anyway. So we'll go ahead and go all the way along the outsides, just like so. And uh, this will be very good. Very soon, it'll all be full. There we go, good. Yeah, that's way better doing it this way. Uh, we could probably fit in another one as well, maybe, possibly. Oh, can we? Oh, there's no way. I think we can. I think we can. All right, do this real quick, and we'll attach it to that piece. And then once we've attached it to that piece, it'll work, right? Presumably. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice. And then we only need one block all the way down the middle. So I'll fill in all of these, and uh, we should weigh a lot less. All right, there we go. They're all filled in. Let's go ahead and delete this as well. And we can put in a bunch of these pieces to make it uh, seem a little bit lighter, which is great. There we go. In fact, we don't even need those pieces. We'll leave them off. We'll also delete this piece as well, and voila, there we go. We weigh a lot less now, so that's good. Uh, if we go forwards, we can probably delete... Um, da, 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 da. Can we delete any of this? I don't think we can delete any. Might be able to delete this piece right here. Indeed we can, which then allows us to delete this whole piece right here, which then allows us to delete, delete this and this. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, we're not allowed in there. We're not allowed in there, but we've got a whole area right here that we can break into as well. Uh, so if we go ahead and delete this, and there we go. we got a whole area back there. Amazing! That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. There we go. So we can break into that area right there as well, uh, which allows us to delete more of this piece. There we go. And as long as I'm not deleting the floor, we can delete a lot more blocks here. We can delete this. I don't know how far back this goes. All right, there we go. We can delete that. And there we go. Yeah, so I've deleted quite a bit. Uh, I was also thinking of making this half as big. So what we could do is we could delete most of this right here. Uh, delete this as well. And put this across the middle. So we'll put that right there. Build it across to here, I think. Yeah, like that. Go ahead and delete this piece right here. And this piece as well. And also this piece and this piece. And voila. There we go. Our fuel tank is half the size. Oh, not half the size, but a third of the size. Um, no, two thirds the size. There we go. Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with my English. Uh, but it should float a little bit higher at the back now. Yes, it does. And a little bit lower at the front, which is it's fine. Yeah, there we go. That's good. The water is no longer going on our deck anymore, so that's great. Nice. One problem fixed. I suppose the other thing we could do is we could also use those pieces, uh, those wing pieces on the deck as well to make it a little bit lighter also. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, we'll delete this entire area right here. We'll go ahead and start placing in these pieces, just like so, uh, if we can. Let's put them in properly. So we'll put them against this wall, just like... Uh, this. Yeah, there we go. And another one as well. There we go. It just fits, which is insane. But there we go. We'll go across here. That's good. 
And, um, yeah, we can do another one as well if we wanted to. Which, indeed, I do. So, there we go. Uh, we'll start putting them in from this side. Just like so. There we go. One, two, and that's good. It's all good. And we'll go ahead and fill this area in. All right, awesome. We could actually put another one in the middle as well if we wanted to. But we don't. So, there you go. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and... Uh, paint some things on here we'll paint like this that's good um and we'll paint across here and we'll paint that in there we go and actually you know what we'll have a little walkway into there that's okay and we'll paint this over to there and i feel like that looks all right i feel like that looks just fine and in fact actually we'll do this as well there we go that looks way better awesome nice yes so we fixed the pointy issue we should also have a little look while we've done that as well uh, which should make the pointy issue a little bit better as well there we go yep good and we've obviously got no weight in the um, fuel tank as well. We've got less weight in the fuel tank. Uh, so that makes it even better. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to put some paint signs on here as well. But um, before that, okay, we need to figure out why this isn't working. Or why it's not working so well. Let's go ahead and make this like two to three. Okay, two to three on both of them. Go ahead and spawn it in and we'll see how quickly we can get this moving forwards. Okay, so let's go ahead and go inside here. There we go. Bam. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. There we go. Turn it on. There we go. Awesome. There is one thing that I've changed as well. If you look underneath the deck, I've got rid of all the small ones. I've put in a gearbox and I've went to two medium generators. So that's what I've changed. Uh, this is how fast we can go. Which is still not very fast. But uh, you know what? It's better than it was. Also, we are slowing down massively uh, because our power generation sucks. Work lights, nav lights, amazing. I'm going to change those work lights at the back to uh, red lights. Uh, no, blue lights, sorry. Blue lights. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do that now. All right, so we want these lights to be blue, please. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. We want blue lights, please. Thank you. There we go. Blue lights. They'll flash. Uh, and that's pretty nice. There we go. We do need some deck lights, some interior lights, and some spotlights as well, if we possibly can. That would be great. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, paint some lines on these pieces uh, to make them look a little bit better. Okay, just to make them look a tiny bit better. We're going to go ahead and paint it like this. There we go. Just in the line. There we go. And do the bottom piece as well. And voila, I feel like that makes it look uh, just a tiny bit nicer. All right, cool. I'm also going to do this um, because I feel like that makes it look a little bit cooler. And I'm also going to do this. Um, have we got any angle pieces? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Here we go. Um, kind of like this. So we can sort of pretend that we're holding it up. I feel like that makes it look way better than it was. So yeah, we'll leave that like that as well. Still not sure why the water pressure isn't getting into this. Don't know why that's happening. Uh, I am going to install a speedo while I remember. So we go ahead and get one of those. Speed sensor. We'll go ahead and shove that like literally directly on the front. Um, but like a little bit underwater. Don't know why I'm putting it underwater, but I am. Uh, so we go ahead and shove that in there like so. That seems good. Seems okay to me. Uh, we're then going to logic it to a uh, digital display. There we go. Digital displays just show speed. I, I feel like it's a lot easier to, to read off. Um, and that's going to be white. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and shove it right in here. There we go. Let's go ahead and change this. Turn that off. There we go. That should be our speedo right there. Give it some electricity. Doesn't really need electricity, but we're going to give it anyway. And display speed. There we go. Good. Linear speed. Awesome. Uh, the next thing that I think we should do is we should go underneath the deck. We should try and delete this. All right. We should put another one of these generators next to it now i i think the engine's going to struggle with this massively um but if we go ahead and we put that right there we turn the corner with a cut turny piece a turny piece please there we go good put the turny piece here oh wait, wait 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 before we do this before we do this we need to mirror it we need to mirror it there we go all right grab one of these pieces put it on there beautiful go ahead and turn the corner with a turny piece if we can grab one of those from anywhere there we go beautiful uh and we'll put it this way there we go good We'll then put one of these down next to this one, like so. Flip it upside down. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and put another turny piece on there. Yeah, indeed. We'll put one right there as well. And we can connect those two together with a uh, straight piece, which if we grab it from here, we can just attach it together like so. There we go. Good. So now we're doing two generators. Uh, no, four generators from a small uh, engine. From a small engine. Uh, that is interesting you know that is very interesting to see if that'll work we are only going into one battery as well which is something that we should totally uh, acknowledge as well anyway um we got a lot more weight in the front it seems or it seems like the front is a lot lower in the water and if we go inside let's go ahead and do this turn it on there we go and we'll see how fast our speedo allows us to go 
There we go. Yeah. It's working. It's working. But yeah, again, we, we can't generate enough power for this. We just can't generate enough power. Um, not entirely sure what to do about that, to be totally honest with you. I mean, we could add more batteries, but we also need a generator that works. Um, which, of course, this one doesn't really work, so... We can't really use it, I don't think. Unless we change the engine to be a uh, an aircraft engine instead, I suppose that would work. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do here with this. Anyway, turn the lights on, see what it looks like. Blue lights flashing, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, you know what, the final thing we're going to do today is we're going to add a few lights, because lights are cool. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put a light in here. We'll go ahead and shove it right in the middle, and there we go. We'll go ahead and grab a light from, I guess, the outside would work. Here we go, grab one of these. There we go, yep, put it inside there. Awesome sauce, there's a light right there. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and put a light right here as well. Point it downwards, and go ahead and paint the roof so that it's the right color. There we go. Um, da, 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 there we go. And that's good. All right, cool. We got three lights in here. That seems decent enough, probably. Decent enough. Yeah. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to add lights on the deck as well. So we'll go ahead and start deleting some holes for those. Uh, we'll have a light right here. We'll have a light down the side uh, next to this. We'll have another light next to this one. And we'll have a light next to this one. Oh, we can't. We can't actually. Ha oh, we can. We can. We can put it in the side. There we go. Beautiful. That's all good. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of those lights then. Um, we'll grab this one. And we'll put it all on the side. There we go. One there. All right, cool. Uh, one here. You could possibly put them in. That would be great. One here as well. And another one back here somewhere. Yeah, right there. All right, cool. Then we're going to go ahead and paint the sidings. All right. We could go ahead and paint the tops of them like this. And I don't want them being bright white because the bright white is actually like too bright. Uh, and it ends up sort of blinding you if, if you get into fog or something like that. So we're going to make it gray. Um, and I believe that'll make it dimmer and also way easier to see. So we'll go ahead and do that all the way around the outside. That all seems great. That's good. We'll do the same thing on the inside as well. Dim them down just a tiny bit. There we go. Good. And that's cool. That's cool. Uh, we do need them all to be attached to buttons though. So I'm going to quickly do that. We'll see what it looks like in the nighttime. Okay. I've also put in some lights down here as well. We should also put in like some passenger seats down here so that we've actually got some passenger seats. Otherwise, we won't, we won't really have any. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that right there. We'll have one over here as well on this side. And there we go. We got, we got two passenger seats and we got a medical bed down there. All right, cool. We do need to attach them to the lights as well. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where's the light? There it is right there. Light switch and light switch. There we go. Is that the one that's on the bottom or the top? I can't tell. Oh, that's the one on the top. All right, cool. This is the one on the bottom. Have I done it to the one on the bottom over there? I have. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and give it some electricity. I'll give all the lights some electricity because they need it. There we go. You, you. Okay. You and you. And all the ones around the outside need electricity as well. So we'll go ahead and quickly, quickly give them all electricity. And the ones at the front as well. This one and also this one. There we go. All right, cool. So that's a bunch of lights done. We do need to add another button. This is the first button I've added. That's for the inside ones. Uh, we need to then go ahead and add some for the outside ones as well. Let's go ahead and get another button and uh, we'll have outside lights also in the same place. We might as well put them in the same place. So we we'll go ahead and shove that right there. That's going to be for outside lights. Deck lights. Deck lights. There we go. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and give that power and we'll go ahead and connect them to all the lights as well. All right, awesome. Okay, I believe we've got everything connected. Let's go ahead and spawn her in. It is nighttime. I haven't turned on the button straight away, but that seems to be sitting okay. It is a little bit nose down, but that's okay. Uh, if we go on the inside and we push the buttons, here's the deck lights. There we go. Let's have a little look at those. Yeah, they're not very bright, and uh, that's exactly what we want. Good. And then we'll have the work lights as well, and the nav lights, and also the bridge lights. There we go. All right, cool. Yes. Yeah, so what does this look like when it's like pitch black on a night? Here we go. Yeah, we can see everything on our boat. We still need some, um, we still need to add some spotlights somewhere. Not entirely sure where to put the spotlights, but if we have a little look at them. Spotlight. Okay, so we got these ones now. We've also got these ones. I think that one's too big. So if we get these, can we attach them to, like, the front? Like, here? Can we attach them to the front, like, here? There we go. We could do something like this. There we go. And we could, obviously, just attach them to the deck lights as well. Uh, and that'll work out completely fine, probably. Completely fine, probably. Um, so yeah, we then just need to attach them to a button. 
they'll go on spotlight button. So we'll do that back here as well. We might as well just put in a new one. Uh, and yeah, we'll delete it this. We'll put it right there. We'll name it spotlight. There we go. And we should really put one on the back as well. Uh, just pointing backwards. So we'll go ahead and do that like so. And we'll go ahead and connect that to the button. And there we go. We'll connect this to these dudes. One, two, three, and four. And we'll go ahead and give some electricity to this dude as well. There we go. Nice. So we got spotlight facing backwards. Four spotlights facing forwards. We could actually add spotlights facing sideways if we wanted to. Uh, by attaching this up here somewhere. Uh, would be kind of cool. Also, having spotlights all the way up there would be awesome. We'll be able to see for miles. I don't know whether to do that or not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if we go ahead and we say that all of these should be turned on straight away. There we go. On, on, on. Okay, and then these two on and on as well. There we go. We'll spawn it in and we'll have a little look at it. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not Those lights don't appear to be on though. Those spotlights are not on. All right, there we go. Now they're on. Now they're on. It is very shiny when you do that. It is extremely shiny. Um, but yeah, the, the button wasn't uh, connected to the electricity. Anyway, now that all of these are on, let's go inside. It's a little bit dull in here. We need to change this up a little bit. Uh, if we go down the stairs, it's obviously quite bright down here, uh, which is nice. And yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. That is really awesome. Uh, I do want to turn off the spotlights, though. They're, they're pretty bright. I wish that we could change the, the density. The density? Yeah. Oh, the sensitivity of those. Anyway, uh, I am going to leave this here for now. Uh, I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Is that going to work? I don't think it's going to turn on. It's not. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.